Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 7, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So, before we start this video, if you guys could go to the description below and go follow the link to my new Elseworlds trailer breakdown, that would mean so much to me. I know it was a day late, but if you guys can go watch it, I probably cover some stuff that maybe some other YouTubers haven't covered, like Emergency Awesome, Pagey, Boba Talks, you know, we all have different opinions, so if you guys could go watch my video from yesterday, that would mean so much to me. So, let's go ahead and get into this review for Episode 7 of Season 5. This episode was really solid, I thoroughly enjoyed it throughout, I didn't really have too many complaints, I'll go over my minimal complaints later in this video, but essentially what this episode did was successfully show the origins of Cicada and also set up what's to come with his identity reveal later in the episode, which we'll talk about right now. So Cicada, by the end of the episode, as we go through his origin story, we get to find out that Grace is in fact not his actual daughter, that it's his niece that he's taken in, so he's like the father of her now, and in fact fact, by the end of the episode, we get to see the Enlightenment, and as Sally the Satellite cascades down onto the Earth, the Satellite hits the ground, and they get launched back, and Grace is put into a coma, and Cicada, his dagger, obviously, is stabbed into him, and that creates the connection between him and the dagger, and it's Metatech once again as we explore with Weather Witch in this episode. So, at the end of the episode, Cicada's motivation is revealed to why he's after all these metas, because essentially the Doctor hinted at that these metas are the cause of all of this, aka they're talking about the Flash and how these other metas like, say, Zoom, Savitar, Thorn, all of these people, including the Thinker, all are metas and all are the root cause of all of this trouble and that is why he's after the metas and he wants to kill them all. But the big reveal is at the end of the episode in which they actually go over the CCTV at the hospital and see who's been visiting Grace in the hospital and it's only been one person the entire time and it's revealed that Orlan is in fact Cicada so we knew that obviously as the spectator but it's a massive reveal for Team Flash because now they know who he is, they can go back in time, they can check everything that they need to know about this person and that is what they're going to be doing next episode, they are going back in time. We're going to be seeing Savitar, Thorn and Zoom once again, which is just outstandingly exciting to me. I love the trailer, we're going to be breaking that down later today, I've got so much to say about that. But essentially it just teases the idea of what's to come with Cicada's character, now they know who he is. I think they did a really great job at revealing it at the end of the episode. So, now moving on to the other part of the episode, and this was the Nora and Barry storyline, which personally worked very effectively with me. I've heard some ramblings online that maybe some people thought it was a bit forced. I personally didn't feel it was that forced. I felt like the storyline was necessary, and I thought it really worked, and I think Jessica is doing an outstanding job as Nora, bring into life this childish nature with inside this older version of Nora and I think she's just excellent and so at the start of the episode we get a reference to Ronnie and how essentially Nora in the future hasn't been told of all the sacrifices that Barry has to make he's not just a hero without sacrificing himself and this is explored heavily throughout the episode which we'll talk about in a minute but essentially what it teases is the Flash Museum has a lot of holes, and in order to get the more deeper parts of the Flash's history, you have to go back, and maybe this is a link to Thorn and how in some versions of the comics he works at the Flash Museum in the future, and maybe that is one way as to how they're going to get information for the future Flash Museum, maybe Nora's like an agent for that, obviously that's just a wild theory right now, but I don't think Nora's evil, but essentially Iris explains to Nora all of the close calls that he's had and the sacrifice that he has to do and with him leaving at the end of season 3, if you remember the cliffhanger for that, he goes into the speed force, Nora actually says that's very similar to how Barry actually disappears in 2024, a flash of light, sort of the speed force, this teases the idea that maybe Barry 
does go into the speed force in that burst of light during 2024 with the reverse flash so that's a really nice point that I picked up upon maybe you missed that that was such a minimal part but it seems like he definitely runs into the speed force due to this information and as the episode goes on like I mentioned there's that drama between them of how Barry actually dies in this episode and Nora saves him and you can see that sheer emotion pouring out of Jessica's acting and I think she does an excellent job Nora tells of Barry there is a solution into making him not die in the future and that is for Barry to give up being the Flash because essentially he wouldn't have that fight with the reverse Flash and as Barry knows, as we know, that's going to change the timeline significantly and change Nora's future. So Nora's going to be different, Iris is going to be different, everyone's going to be different and Barry just can't get himself to do that because people need the Flash and by the end of the episode Nora understands that and Barry won't give in, but essentially Nora, as we head towards the end of the episode, Nora says in the future perhaps she will try to save Barry and save him in 2024, change the timeline in order so everything is different. Once again, there's obviously a lot of timeline differences like how it's going to change if Nora were to do that, but they're building up to Nora essentially trying to save Barry sometime in the future and I think they teased it really well in this episode. So let's talk about the villain of the episode, Weather Witch. We get the return of Weather Wizard. It was really nice seeing him for the minimal amount that he was in in the episode, although my only complaint about the episode was with Weather Witch. I don't think the actress was all that good. I felt that was the force part of the episode, but it doesn't drag down the episode that much because she's only in it for minimal amounts of scenes and everything else surrounding the episode is just solid, solid stuff. And she essentially is trying to kill her father because her father's obviously not the best father in the world, how he just abandoned them. And they do a nice trick with Weather Wizard being a hologram and she smashes a car on him. And later in the episode, Barry actually stops Weather Witch running around with Weather Wizard's lightning rod and he essentially becomes a lightning rod and as you know lightning rods are very significant in the flash tv show and in the comics because essentially that is the connection between barry and iris and barry and everyone due to the fact that he's from the speed force he's got that speed force powers and that may be linked to how the flash became the flash in the comics with the with him actually being the lightning bolt and striking himself in the past i think that's a nice teaser to that but essentially in this episode he is a literal lightning rod and he's able to stop weather witch in a really really awesome scene i think the cgi guys did really good for this part of the episode and one thing i have to say is this season, as you know, I haven't really been liking the Flash suit all too much. I think in this episode it really showed when he was in the Star Labs prison that his mask really needs to change. They really need to sort out and get that cow on. It just doesn't look all that right and it really kind of showed in this episode. So hopefully they fix that, they go back to using a chin strap or changing the suit. I think the past season suits have been much better in my opinion. So I really do like this suit but I just don't like the cowl. I think they definitely need to change it sometime very soon. And so throughout the episode there is various scenes with Cisco and Caitlin and Sherlock Wells and I just thoroughly enjoy these scenes all the time. There's so much depth and so much humour littered throughout them and I think it's just amazing seeing Cisco and Caitlin together. They work so well together, Danielle and Carlos, and I just want to see more and more. And I love that Killer Frost scene to do with Thanksgiving and how essentially how Cisco and Caitlin were persuaded about the idea of what Thanksgiving actually truly means. Obviously that's a big controversy in America like because they celebrate the fact that the English came over to America and slaughtered the people and that's why they have Thanksgiving. Obviously it's just for family now but the greater history is a bit dodgy and that is the reference they're making in that part of the episode but Essentially, they just twist it on its back and because now it's seen as to celebrate your family, to celebrate your life right now and that is what Killer Frost helps with and I love seeing Killer Frost even if it's just in this small part of the episode. It was really nice to see that. So they all have Thanksgiving at the West household and that is essentially it for this episode. So this episode was really solid. Next episode looks to be absolutely insane. We're getting the return of Zoom 
Thorn and Savitar, my three favourite villains. You know, I don't really like the Thinker that much. Cicada's been very, very solid. I've really liked him so far. But those three are my favourites, especially Zoom. Zoom is just... Wow. And we know from the trailer they shot new scenes for Zoom, and I'm guessing they shot new scenes for Savitar and Reverse Flash as well. Definitely with Thorn. Teddy Sears is returning as Zoom in this episode, and I'm just beyond hype for that. So later tonight I'll have my trailer breakdown for that. Please be sure to not miss that. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>